Uh, g'day viewers. We've only been on the road for 24 hours and we've gone soft and got a hotel room. Well, no, we're here at the Royal Mail Hotel in uh, Mekathara uh, because it's just cold and drizzly and yucky out there and all the bedding and everything it got a bit wet last night and I dried some of it out and then it started raining again. I had it out, out on a clothesline. So we've called Barley's, we've done a couple of hundred k's today and then pulled into Mekathara and decided to... Uh, just try and dry everything out and and here's Topaz in in her pet palace already in the corner there she is she's hiding away now there you are darling yep so she knows where home is now it's in the pet palace so wherever I put that she crawls back into that she's had had a little bit of something to eat which is a good sign because she didn't really eat much apart from a bit of marmite off my finger last night um, you know because they go off their food when you shift them around but she's fine she's having a having a good holiday and uh, yeah it's just a, just a bit cold and yucky out there if it's nice and sunny and everything I would have pulled up and made camp and uh, dried everything out but it's just still drizzling and that sort of thing so I'll check the weather in a minute and see how long we've of this I thought I was far enough north to get away from it but not really it's it's bleak <laughs> bleak and uh, and crappy for Megathara which you'd expect to be fine and sunny but uh, it's just that time of the year I suppose so anyway I'll um, I'll see you on the next one and let you know where we're at and what we're up to um, worried about the bike the first day pushing into the wind was just incredible because uh, we've got the swag on the front but I mean, the, the swag on the front's just sort of stopping the wind before it hits me in the shoulders and across the chest anyway. So people people say, oh, doesn't that you know hit a lot of wind? Well, yeah, it does a little bit, but not too much more than what it already would be if it doesn't. You know, if there's no swag on the front, there's me st sticking up in the air, catching most of the wind. Yeah, she's coming out coming out for a chat. I'll catch her in the back of the camera there. Go on, your topaz. She's quite happy. Hey girly, she's having a great time. She's got food in her belly. There she goes. So she'll probably go in the in the shower and go to the toilet, and we can clean that up later. Or we'll take her for a walk outside. She'll go outside and not go. So anyway, but, uh, she went for a good walk last night and a good walk this morning. But uh, I've taken the lead off her. Uh, just so she hasn't got a halter around her shoulders and, and neck all the time but um, yeah I was worried about the bike it was pushing against the wind and it's done a hundred thousand kilometers it's not like it's new going around Australia or anything um, but it today was better because I was trying to escape the storm of that you had in Perth last night and, and I did uh, but still got rained on and shifted the the swag set up, swag and the camp stretcher at the last minute, and didn't have the have it set up properly to be to stop the to make the rain run off. So it came inside and slowly slowly soaked uh, me a little bit last night uh, while I was in between sleeps. So we'll have a wash our clothes in the shower and have a wash and start again tomorrow. And uh, Get up to Newman and, and see, uh, we'll be definitely be camping on the side of the road tomorrow night. We found a good camp spot last night with plenty of trees, no one else there, had to had the whole place to myself, lit, lit a fire, it was great, um, got, got plenty of photos there to show, so alright, uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.